What's up guys, Moolah150 here, and we be and we are beginning Season 3 of my Pokemon Black 2 Wi-Fi Battles. This is a Challenge Cup video against uh, Quanda ran 66 uh, I was at his stream, and he said, I don't know, I feel like doing something stupid, and I suggested Challenge Cup since uh, we've done Challenge Cup a couple times in the past, so... And, he's, and I don't know if it was me or him, but he suggested, or I suggested, saying, let's make it roulette just to make it even more stupid, because it's already challenge kept, it's already stupid, so we made it even more stupid with making it roulette, so. I lead off with a Groudon, a Palpatode, and a Fracture leads off with an Eevee, a Corsola, and a Fero. Uh, I believe... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little bit sick right now, but I'm decided to do the video anyway. Uh, so, I have the Iron Head, he's gonna go for the dig, and I don't think that's gonna do too much damage to me. Yeah, because I'm Groudon, I'm a ground type. All that stuff, but the poison is wearing out on me, I'm gonna keep going for the Iron Head, because I think that's really my only move. I'm not too sure, but I do get the crit, I'm pretty sure that mattered, because looking at the damage from the previous Iron Heads. But poison looks like I'm only gonna be living one more round, uh, depending on attack, but I, so I switch out and thinking, okay, I might want this Groudon for later. But so, he's gonna dig, so he's, now he has two Pokemon with dig, like, what the hell? And I think I switched to Palpatoe because Palpatoe is also part ground, so it shouldn't take too much damage. I'm going to go for the Aqua Ring because, you know, I think it's like a wasted turn because I'm going to get hit with the Dig, so I might as well recover some HP. Uh, I'm going to go split back in my Fracture. I think I'm going to go for the Slash as he goes for the U-Turn. Sorry, I'm trying, to keep, I'm trying to keep up pace with this. It's freaking running by fast. Anyway, so he has a Chansey. I'm going to go for the Draco Media, and it turns out this Fracture does not have any special attack what's what in it whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to go for the Endeavor just to see how much it does, and it actually is going to do a nice big jump because Chan the difference between Chansey's HP and Fracture's HP is a very big difference, it seems. So, I'm going to go for the Slash to see how much that does, and that is going to kill him off with a crit. I'm pretty sure that mattered, given that's a Chansey and a Fracture and all that. Uh, he brings out the Chinchou, and this Chinchou actually becomes a little bit of a problem if I remember this battle right. Uh, he's gonna go for the Scald, and I'm just gonna go for the Return to see how much this Palpatode likes me. Doesn't like me one bit, and look at that damage. But he's gonna go for the Toxic again, uh, so now I have two Toxic Pokemon on my team. Not good, not good at all, and especially in a situation like this with just a random Pokemon, but I think my Palpatode isn't that really much of a heavy hitter, since Return's not doing that much, I have Aqua Ring, what else do I have? I have I have Return that's not doing that much, I have Aqua Ring, I don't know what else I have. Not really been paying attention to my own moves here. But Poison's wearing down on me, uh, I said switch out maybe, I might need Palpatode for later. Going to go to Pikachu to see if this Chinchou has Volt Absorb. He's gonna go for, uh, for the Return himself, and his Chinchou likes him, likes him more than my Palpatode likes me, but turns out he does have the Volt Absorb. He's gonna go for the Scald, and I don't... Okay, he doesn't burn, but... He sees now that he's just going to go for the dig to finish off my Pikachu, being super effective and all that, so... Wanted to go for the Signal Beam, because that would have been times 4 super effective on the freaking Nuzleaf, but no, he's digging. And he gets a crit on the ground, and I doubt that mattered, because I was such a low HP, especially with the poison. So I'm going to bring in Yamask, which for some reason when I sent this out, I thought it had Levitate. I don't know why I thought that, but... I did, and thankfully he didn't go for the dig to prove me wrong, but... I'm gonna go for the Shadow Ball just to see how much I can do to this Chinchou. It's a nice two-hit KO, but once again, the Poison, the freaking Chinchou, oh my gosh. He's gonna go into his course logo for Protect from my other Shadow Ball because I was trying to kill off this Chinchou before I could poison any more of my Pokemon, but that didn't end up happening. So he's gonna withdraw his course logo, go into his Fero, and I'm gonna go for the Willows, but of course I missed. That is like my constant. You can always expect me to miss the Willow Whips. I constantly, constantly do. Uh, he's gonna go into his Nuzleaf, and he's gonna start digging again. I think I go for the Slash here because that's like the only decent move on this thing, because I'm minus two now because of Draco Meteor, and I didn't even have that much special attack to start with. But anyway, uh, I have a Citrus Berry, so I eat that, so I get a little bit of health back. Go for the Slash. Does a nice uh, chunk of damage to Nuzleaf, even though it's a crit, so I'm thinking or regular damage is not that much either. Nuzleaf is really bulky, or this Fracture has no attack in it whatsoever. And judging by how it's doing to that Chin Chow, I have no idea what's wrong with this Fracture. I know Fracture's supposed to be decent in physical attack, and it's doing absolutely nothing to these Pokemon. But anyway, I finally knock out, what did I knock out? The Chin Chow. He's gonna bring him back into his Corsola. I somehow predict, I don't know if I predicted, but I just thought the odds were my favorite. He has two Pokemon weak to electricity, so I decided to go for the Volt Tackle. It doesn't kill off the Fero Pikachu, you suck! Oh my gosh, I kill off my I kill off Pikachu with recoil, and he's gonna work up. He's gonna freaking work up. He somehow knew that he was gonna live whatever attack I was gonna do. He, maybe he didn't, maybe he just got, thought I didn't have an electric attack because I've gone for Signal Beam, and what else have I gone for on my Pikachu, but... 
Anyway, I have Sand True, and I thought since Corsola's part rocks, uh, Metal Claw would do damage. But anyway, here's like the biggest, best part of the battle. I go for the Earthquake, and I have the freaking Ground Gem. That is absolutely amazing, and that kills off the Corsola. I don't know if the Ground Gem actually came into effect, but I remember just laughing my ass off with having a Ground Gem on Earth on a Sand True that actually has Earthquake in Challenge Gem. It was the funniest thing ever, and it. it I don't care if I even lost this battle now, it's, it, yeah, that just made my whole day, that made my week I think, just because of how funny it was, but anyway, he kills off my Sandshrew with the U-turn, gonna go back into my Palpitoad, uh, he's gonna go for another U-turn, I don't think that kills me off, it almost does, but the poison will, gonna go for the return to finish off Fero. now, so now he's only left with the Nuzleaf, and I die off by poison, I think, I only have Yamask and Fracture? Yeah, so it's down to y fra Fracture and Yamas versus Nuzleaf. He's gonna dig. I think Dig is his only real move on this Nuzleaf. Um, so Poison is definitely gonna kill off my Yamas. He's gonna dig. Finish off Yamas. So oh, wait, no. I just live with that little bit. I kill. Uh, Mummy activates. Gonna go for the Shadow Ball, and I think that kills him off. So, uh, good game, Quando Run 66. It was very fun. I love Challenge Cup. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys on the next Tuesday. Bye.